I love Stars Ranch, Pua Hoku Ranch. Uh, I lived out there. This is Dooley. I lived out there from about 76 to 2013. Uh, it's really a lot of fun. Poor as a church mouse, starting up the business, doing oral history and then printing. My brother helping me move out with a Bambi, a wild deer. Just about the time the deer were flourishing out there. Jamie and his sister Carol, as I was moving out. It's a big place. <clears throat> Initially, I had the shop, the, the office in front as my print shop for, I don't know, a decade or two. Frolicking kitties. Rune, Paul, and Tony all worked out there. Paul still works out there now. This is 2024. Kukuyo Lanikala. Uh, around 2010-2013. Doing pretty well. Got some, Finally got some water. And replantings. Uh, Glenn sitting in the truck. Really good friend, Glenn Davis. Glenn Kanemo Davis, uh, Han Han Lima, Hans and Jamie, Hans the mechanic and uh, this is front row, Koshari, Jamie's son. Nahi, Chuck Miller's uh, dog from Malava. That's what it looked like a lot of the first 10, 15 years I was out there. Tahitian princess, granddaughter. There's a chief on the left, his mate, I believe, and Teddy Bear, Davis, Glenn's younger brother, Mike McVeigh, chatting with uh, Jamie. Jamie Waits, that's the shop after they made it into a nice store and office. They ended up tearing this place down where I lived and rebuilding. Did a really nice job. Nat Bacon, that's with Gary Patel. He had the store up in Mauna Loa and then um, Mango Mart in town. Yeah, somebody domesticating a wild piglet. This is after I was up in the house, uh, moved the shop from down in front up to the house when uh, Lavinia asked me to give it up. Joanne Decoit came up and came down and asked me and no problem. She let me stay there another, I don't know, 15, 20 years. And I got real spoiled living there uh, with with the beauty and the cool air and you know, a lot of the, a lot of the locals would stop by. Helicopter had to land, I guess. I didn't know I left that in. It's uh, Martin's dog, Josh, and Maka. <coughs> Bruce, Charlene, and their son, Sean, and Tarna, the daughter, lived out there for a while. Uh, back in the U-shaped house on the town side. Bruce out cutting the lawn. He spent a lot of time in the mainland, but when he came home, he were, oh, there's a front door of the shop and uh, Josh and my dog in the back there. And Josh was just a hilarious golden retriever. I'm not sure who this was, but quite lovely. Bad photo, but that yeah, was when I was first moving in at the shop. Sean's BW, he had all tricked out. Manu Ogata and Dino Calairo. That's back towards the butcher's corner of the meat store. It had formerly been a meat store and accountant's office and uh, mail, mail store. Last stop for gas on the way to Halava before there's a gas pump out on the corner, my two dogs. Right at mile 25, cattle drive. He's down at the scale house. Either branding or shipping them out or roundup anyway. Charlie standing there on the left. 
Donald and Grandpa in the middle, Grandpa Lindsay. Oh, what a dynamic bunch. Real active, a lot of fun. Came over from Big Island, ranching over on Big Island. Belzy uh, is the daughter. James Davis, Glenn's younger brother. One of the few presses that I ever bought. And Charlie with Dickie Tollefson. Hiram Wright on the left. I'm not sure who the next fella is. Charlie and Dickie over at the barn. Jamie in the middle there. Uh, Pocho we used to know her by. And uh, Grandpa Lindsay and Steve Petro, identifiable there. Aka Hodgins with his boy Porter walking away, probably going home. Bob Johnson standing out in the driveway there. He and my girlfriend came and myself came over from Ohio in 75. And Bob at the banyan tree back there, the bulldozer, I'll tell some.